what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it go ahead well it's good similar to the redstone card details we're gonna go ahead and cover the bluestone as well the available units within that uh, if you missed the video for the redstone available units i'll put the link in the pinned comments so definitely make sure to check that out if you haven't done so now the list of units are a little bit less than what the redstone options are but nevertheless let's go ahead and cover the stats for uh, each of the units of pros and cons and kind of gauge out which units are probably the best out of the selection so we're going to start off with the super agility super vegeto unit Still to this day, a very solid unit. The ability to counter is probably one of the biggest benefits of having this guy. Let's go ahead and cover the stats a little bit. Agility type plus three key, HP attack and defense, 70%. Before we get into this further, these are all 70% leads and also 100% leads uh, depending on the unit, but eventually these guys are gonna also get an Extreme Z Awakening. I mean, it's probably gonna happen uh, within the next couple of months, so you can kind of think about this and plan out accordingly. Uh, any global players watching this, uh, you'll have pretty much advanced time to kind of plan out, you know, who to pick with the redstone and bluestone because it'll it'll happen uh, on the global side as well. So back to the uh, Super Vegito unit, uh, pretty decent uh, agility type lead for this still. Uh, you could probably use it on, you know, battlefield settings for the secondary leader skill and whatnot. Uh, the super attack will cause immense damage and also increases allies attack by 30% for one turn. So. Uh, beneficial to the rest of the team there but also the biggest uh, benefit of having this guy is the ability to reduce the damage received uh, from normal attacks by 80 percent and also ability to counter in addition to that so i mean this guy is still pretty good and a lot of players probably have him already but um i have him at rainbow star and i still use him um frequently enough to where it's beneficial like especially on battlefield so damage reduction of 80 percent ability to counter definitely a good choice uh, two categories, Majibu, Saga, and Patara, but uh, you can also run this guy on a super type team as well. Max out, you're looking at uh, 15,750 for HP, attack of 15,840, and defense of 9,625. Uh, still, still to this day, again, a very solid unit. Moving on to the uh, Super Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unit. Uh, definitely overshadowed nowadays by the physical counterpart, but if you don't have the physical version, this guy's still a decent option for, especially like a Super Saiyan 3 team or uh, hybrid Saiyans or even a Majin Buu Saga, really. This, this unit can still uh, do decent. Definitely a little bit outdated at this point, but nevertheless, still pretty decent. It's got three varying uh, Super Attacks. Now, the 11 key uh, Boom Boom Volleyball is probably the best. Um, but you know you, you can certainly do the the 12 key and, and 10 key and less i mean it doesn't really matter but uh pretty uh pretty solid unit to this day i mean causes immense damage to enemy and ma massively raises attack for one turn um and then you've got the um the other counterpart causes immense damage to enemy and, and also causing extreme damage to enemy and greatly lower defense so uh, a couple of variations there now the passive skill st i mean decent passive boost uh even for such an old unit a 120 percent increase uh, to attack when performing a super attack so uh, still a decent unit like i said uh definitely a versatile unit fusion hybrid saiyans majin Buu saga and super saiyan 3 so overall can fall into uh, quite a few categories uh, HP is 14,012, attack 14,757, and defense is 9,906. So, uh, you know, not definitely not the best uh, selection unit for exchanging it with the Bluestone, but this, this guy's still a decent option. All right, so now to the uh, Buhan unit. This is the Extreme Intelligence Majin Buu, uh, Ultimate Gohan Absorbed. 70% lead again for the Intelligence types with the plus three key. It has uh, two variations of uh, Super Attacks, or three, or... Yeah, three actually. Um, now, this unit is still pretty decent. Uh, you definitely do run into a key issue like some of the other Majin Buu units, but uh, this guy can still do pretty good. Um, there are some new categories that he falls into that uh, provide some benefit with that. But the uh, super attack, as you can see, has a couple of variations, but they all do cause immense damage. Um, so, you know, definitely not bad. Passive skill for every key collected. Uh, attack increase of 12% and also recovers 3,000 HP. The HP recovery part is definitely somewhat lacking, but uh, you could definitely get some some HP. Uh, like with the EZA, he'll probably get an improvement with the uh, passive skill as well. Now, link skills again, uh, you might run into some key issues, but uh, as long you know, shocking speed is a is a pretty um, uh, 
popular, I guess for lack of better words, popular link skill that a lot of units tend to have, especially on the extreme type as well. But, you know, this guy's definitely a, a pretty good unit overall. Uh, Majin Buu Saga Enhanced Transformation, probably better off in the Enhanced Transformation team because there are a lot of uh, units that share similar link skills. So still a pretty decent unit. And I love the card art. It's always been one of my favorites and a pretty solid unit overall. Uh, HP is 15,017, attack 14,181, and defense is 88,999. So overall, not a bad unit either. All right, now moving on to the extreme strength uh, Omega Shenron unit. Uh, this one is also definitely outdated. Uh, in term, well, not outdated, but overshadowed by the physical counterpart because it is the uh, Shadow Dragon Saga uh, category lead, and he's also the physical version is also much better, um, honestly. So. Um, this this unit is still decent. I wouldn't necessarily recommend um, you get this guy with the the blue stone. I think there are better options, but you know he does have immense damage for super attack and greatly lowers defense as well. Attack increase of 80% and all enemies attack minus 30% for the passive. So he does have like kind of a, a balanced uh, skill set in terms of benefiting the uh, the rest of the team. You know beneficial for stuff like battle road and stuff like that. Um, lean skills, brutal beat down, fear and fade, big bad boss, shock and speed, all that crap. Um, decent setup. I mean, a lot of link skills he has is shared amongst other extreme type uh, units. So, you know, you're not going to fall into uh, too much issues with the uh, key or, you know, attack and defense increases. Now, the Shadow Dragon Saga, he's in it, but the physical version is the category lead for that. So, you're not going to be necessarily able to run him on that uh, setup if you have the uh, physical version as lead. Uh, he does okay on full power, but I think the biggest, uh, the best set. Uh, scenario for this guy is probably an extreme type uh, team with either transforming Frieza or the strength uh, Super Saiyan Rose unit as as the uh, leaders. The HP levels is uh, 14,520, attack 14,203, and defense is 11,611. I mean, it's it's a solid unit, um, but probably not the uh, first pick out of the uh, blue stone. Now, this is another one that's uh, definitely outdated, and I think a lot of uh, people have forgotten about this unit, but. Um, I mean, he's okay. I run him on battlefield in certain teams like extreme physical type uh, team builds and, uh, you know, run through stages with that. He still has a 70% lead for the uh, physical type. So um, you could run him as a, a secondary leader for battlefield settings. Uh, super attack is only supreme damage. So hopefully with the extremes he awaken, he'll get immense damage instead and some sort of uh, percentage increase or whatever skill sets come with it. The passive skill is a flat increase of 7,000. So that's definitely the... Um, uh, the hindering of, of this unit um, definitely need improvement on the uh, passive skill given like some sort of percentage based but does have the ability to super attack when key is eight or more so he does have have that going for him and um, you know I like I said I use him and I've got uh, pretty much a couple of dupes in him and you know he can super up to a uh, um, couple times so it's definitely beneficial in that regard lean skills I mean typical uh, Broly unit um, Honestly, you know, it's only going to require a key meter of eight or more to to get a uh, additional super. So you don't necessarily have to get a super attack off the bat. He'll he'll get that with the with the second uh, attack. So it's not too bad. I typically run him like I said on an extreme physical type team with the battlefield setting, but he can do okay on the movie bosses. Obviously, better on the pure sands. I haven't really tested him on the full power team, so I can't say how he does on that one. Uh, maxed out HP is 15,750, attack is 14,500, and defense is 7,925. So, I mean, probably one of the least uh, likely picks out of the uh, Blue Stone, but just wanted to cover the uh, stats itself. Now we have the uh, Super Saiyan God Kaioken Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, whatever, however way you want to call it. Uh, no key boost with the leader skill, but 100% to HP attack and defense. Um, causes immense damage, but also sacrifices 5% of HP with each super attack. So you do have to keep in mind with that. He's also got a flat increase of 20,000 to attack and 10,000 to defense uh, for 10 turns from the start of the turn. So um, it's not too bad. At least it's 20,000. I mean, that's more than, you know, 100%. Probably equates to about 130, 140, some, somewhere around that region. But uh, he also gets a 10,000 increase to defense as well, so not too bad with that regard. Um, you can certainly run him on Realm of Gods, uh, Pure Saiyans, or even um, you know the representatives of uh, Universe 7. I would probably, likely fit would be Realm of Gods. Um, I think it's probably the best case scenario for him. 
since he does have like uh, lean skills like warrior gods and whatnot. So I mean that is a 10% increase in addition to other ones. But uh, maxed out uh, HP of 13,150, attack is 14,300, and defense is uh, 9,875. So not bad overall unit. I'm not quite sure if you want to use this guy as the first pick with the uh, blue stone. Now we have the Fire of Vengeance uh, Extreme Tech Golden Freezer. This is probably the one, the best option out of the Blue Stone, in my opinion, uh, just because of the overall benefit that he brings as being included on a team, especially um, considering he has a lot of categories that he falls into. So we'll cover that here in a second. But uh, leader skill, you're probably not going to use it too often as a lead type uh, specific for tech. HP attack and defense 100% similar to the... Uh, Kaioken Blue Goku. Now he does cause immense damage to enemy and also greatly lowers defense, so that is a nice little uh, super attack. And he does pretty well. He has for a, a decent enough amount to where it's beneficial to have him. Uh, but in addition to the decent attack output, he can also re um, reduce damage taken by 70% less than what the actuality is. So damage received by 70% and uh, attack increase of 70% when HP is 50% or above. So he uh, definitely does hit for a decent amount and uh, he can tank pretty well. Not as good as the uh, agility counterpart, but... Um, this version uh, can definitely hit harder than the agility version, so in that regard, it's probably beneficial uh, for this guy to include on a team. <laughs> now, link skill is pretty straightforward. Uh, anything with the Frieza clan units, it, this guy's going to link pretty well with, and uh, you know you'll be able to maximize the uh, the attack and and uh, key links. So maxed out HP at thirteen thousand nine hundred fifty, attack is fourteen thousand three hundred eighty, and defense is nine thousand four hundred seventy five. So uh, likely, I would probably end up picking this guy out of um, the other versions, but it really does depend on your deck. Like I said in the other video, so kind of take this video as as a thorough way of uh, understanding what you know the pros and cons are for each unit before making a decision. This is the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta unit, 100% stat boost for the intelligence types. Um, I do have this guy at Rainbow, and uh, he's a decent unit to include on a Realm of Gods category team. Um, probably not uh, in the, uh, you know, the first squad, I'd say. Like, he's probably in the second string kind of thing, uh, because I do have better units than this guy. But he's, he's, he's still a pretty decent unit. He does cause immense damage and raises attack for three turns. Uh, the passive skill is still 100% increase and actually reduces extreme type enemies attack and defense by 20%. So he does bring some benefits of you know being included on a team. Uh, lean skills you're not really going to struggle too much with the key and guaranteeing a super. Uh, pretty much you know uh, Realm of Gods is probably the best case scenario set up for this guy. As you can see Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers. So he does fall into at least four categories so uh, decent option. And uh, at max level, HP is 14,212, attack 14,351, and defense of 9,752. So overall, not a bad unit. Okay, moving on to the uh, extreme strength type perfect cell unit. Now, this guy is definitely overshadowed now, especially with the easy A for the uh, intelligence version. This guy is probably going to be one of the lesser uh, priority list items out of you know the tech and the intelligence counterparts, but... You know, he's still an okay unit. He does have the attack all enemies uh, function uh, as part of the um, the uh, super attack. So 100% increase to HP attack and defense for strength types. Uh, the causes immense damage to enemies and raises attack and defense. So he does raise attack and defense as part of the super attack and you can stack that for every super. The uh, 11 key is the uh, self-destruct, which causes mass damage to all enemies and also raises attack and defense. Now the output itself is not going to be anywhere close to the potential for you know, other units that attack all enemies, but he's certainly an option um, for the World Tournament if you absolutely need him. Now, he does get 100% increase to attack as well as part of the passive, so not bad there. Uh, lean skills, typical, you know, perfect cell unit type uh, links. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in detail, but you can kind of get an idea for that. Categories uh, looks to be four categories. Uh, Resurrected Warriors, Androids, Enhanced Transformation, and Time Travelers, probably the best option include is probably enhanced uh, transformation or resurrected warriors i think in my opinion so max level hp is 14,524 attack is 14,226 and defense is 9,664 lastly this is going to be the extreme physical type goku black unit now especially with the fact that the 
uh, new Goku Black was introduced to JP. This is probably one of the least likely picks uh, that you're going to get. Um, especially if you look at the passive, you'll understand why this is such an outdated unit. But 100% uh, boost toward physical types. And uh, you can see the immense damage capabilities as part of the uh, varying uh, super attacks. The passive is uh, at least a plus three key to extreme types. However, it's only a flat boost of 3,000 for attack for every key collected. Now, you could certainly increase that to a pretty, pretty decent amount. It almost seems like this is a different leader skill for uh, JP. Um, and, you know, I'll have to double check that. But uh, this is based on the global ship. So, you know, for global players, maybe you can, you can use that as a, as a uh, basis. But... Let's look at DBZ space actually and double check the information. I want to make sure I provide the most accurate information, so I don't know, I feel like the stats are, the stats are definitely different between JP and Global. I do remember that, so let me just double check and cover the cover cover everything. All right, so it is 100%. That's the same. Uh, Chul is this Tokadai. That's immense damage. And then uh, passive skill. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's it's basically 3,000 increase for every uh, key collected. So he does lose out on the uh, key boost uh, with the um, the uh, passive skill. So I definitely wanted to double check that because I don't re I don't remember seeing the uh, the key boost for this guy. Uh, lean skills pretty much, you know, straightforward villain type uh, setup, and then you know three categories: Roma guys, uh, Patata, and future categories. So uh, likely, you're probably if you do run this guy, it's probably going to be either Patara or Roma guys, probably the likely pick. But you know, this guy's still okay uh, with the EZA. I can see this guy getting a lot better. So maxed out HP is 15,950, attack is 14,800, and defense is 9,125. So I don't necessarily recommend you get this unit. Probably out of all these options you have, um, it comes down to going freeze. Now, if you're lacking in villain type leads, or not leads, but overall, t you know, cards in the deck, it might not be the best option for you. You could certainly, um, you know, increase the options within the super type scenario, but. In my opinion, I think he's probably one of the better units. Now, the Buhan unit's also pretty decent. The Gotenks unit's probably also a good option too. You know, Super Vegito, definitely a, a good option if, if you're lacking in dupes or you're looking to pick up um, some, uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking to pick up a first copy, it's, it's not a bad. I mean, the damage reduction of 80%, also the ability to counter, you're not gonna see the maximum potential of that. Uh, without a dupe but he'll at least still be able to reduce 80 percent damage uh, from normal attacks so uh, you know if you don't have a single copy of this guy it might be worthwhile for that for that regard but that's pretty much uh the units available with the blue stone i kind of compressed it a little bit uh, just to not drag it out but hopefully uh this video helped out in terms of you know making a decision on who to exchange it with this is obviously not a free one you do have to buy the stones pack to be able to purchase and get the uh, blue stone so uh, regardless, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, as always, I appreciate you watching.